Hello everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last shared a news and updates video, and today I'm excited to be bringing it back. In this video, I'll be sharing some news and updates that you might have missed since my last video. I hope you'll find this video enjoyable and informative, and without wasting any more time, let's dive right into the video. It has been quite a long time since Ohm and Nanan ceased working together. However, many fans of the ship have still not been able to move on, and this has been demonstrated by many occurrences. One of these instances occurred on July 13, 2024, during Ohm Pot's solo fan meeting that was scheduled in China. During the fan meeting, fans were given the chance to take pictures with the actor. During that time, a group of individuals came to take pictures with the actor and unexpectedly they took out and wore masks with Nanan's face on them. This was also not the first time this has occurred, as only a few months earlier, Nanan faced the same situation. During the photo session with his fans at his solo concert, a group of individuals likewise wore masks with Ohm's face on them. These occurrences seem to have led GMMTV to take action, as on 31 July, GMMTV finally released an announcement, stating Ohm and Nanan's mutual decision to cease working together as they wish to pursue their individual career paths. Additionally, noting that both actors wish to officially announce this decision, some fans were pleased and thought this to be necessary for Ohm and fans to finally move on. However, not everyone took this well, and in early August, some Chinese fans took action against this by sending trucks to GMMTV. With a message that stated that they will not pay for solo projects of the actors, and that Ohm and Nanan hurt and deceived their fans, and should apologize to the Green Red that being the name of the Ohm Nan fandom. This angered many fans, leading to the individuals receiving a lot of backlash. Surprisingly, shortly after that incident, the trucks would return once more, but with an apology this time around. The message stated how sorry they were to GM, MTV and Omnen and that they regret their actions, promising that it'll never happen again. Actor Jess Jespatat received criticism from BL fans after a statement he made during a reaction video of his BL series for minutes. Jess is a longtime actor who has over 10 years of acting experience. However, he has never played a BL role over these years. This changed this year as we got to see him play in the BL series for minutes alongside beloved actor Bible Summit. As the series started to air, it immediately received really positive feedback from fans and their NC scenes were also praised. However, the NC scenes would be seen differently from for September. On 4 September, during a reaction of the saltier version of episode 6 of 4 Minutes, during the NC scene between Bible and Jess, Jess admitted to drinking some alcohol and being drunk during that scene. This received so many different opinions from fans as some thought of him to be homophobic, while some supported him and understood that it was his first time and it might have helped with the nerves. After seeing the feedback, on 6 September, Bible would take to Twitter to share that for his own first NC scene he ever filmed, he also drank alcohol to calm his nerves. A fan would comment asking if this helped and if he would recommend it for other actors, also asking if he still does this. In response, Bible said that this is different for everyone and now after getting used to it, he doesn't need alcohol to shoot NC scenes, and it's the matter of not abusing alcohol or relying on it. Jess would also comment on the post saying that they just want the best on their work. And following Bible's post Jess would once again take to his own Twitter account to clarify that no one recommended his actions, and he was the one who asked. Also mentioning that he wanted the work to go smoothly as everyone was very tired that day and they finished shooting late, but he thanks the team for understanding. As the series We Are was coming to an end and the last episode was about to air, rumors speculated about Pond and Puyin taking a break from working together. This was allegedly due to Puyin having to focus on his upcoming series Summer Night. The rumors were only escalated on 6 September when an announcement was released on social media platforms, stating that Pond and Puyin have decided to pursue their individual career paths, bringing an end to their work partnership. 
This of course brought confusion among the fans, as this statement had not been shared on GM, MTV's official accounts. However, on 13 September, GM MTV put everything to rest as they released a statement stating that the information shared was false and they had not issued such a statement. GM MTV also asked for fans to refrain from spreading false information or believing it if it was not shared through their official accounts. Not so long after the Pondview and rumors were put to rest, Me Mind Why faced the same situation. On 16 September, a notice was shared on social media stating that actors Fort and Pete also mutually agreed to end their work partnership. Me Mind Why did not waste any time, as on 17 September they addressed the situation. In a notice, they stated that the notice that circulated was forgery, additionally requesting that the individuals refrain from their actions as legal action would be taken if they're identified. Earlier this year, on 20 July, Pond Nerevit took to his Twitter to share a scary ordeal that he faced. The actor shared with the fans that on the day, he encountered a driver that followed him while he was on his way home. He tried to get away from the individual however, they would not stop following him. He said he had to resort to running away and staying with his friends that day, as he was scared for his own and his family's safety. A while after this incident occurred, on 9 August, GMMTV released a statement, which stated that an attorney had been appointed to represent the actor and take legal actions against the individual for following the artist in the car and displaying stalking behavior. Furthermore, they asked for them to respect the actor's privacy and promising to take action against such behavior in the future. Following the statement, on 20 August, a new situation occurred. An account on Twitter shared a video of Pond playing with his dogs, which may have appeared to be a harmless post at the time. This wasn't until Pond commented on the post asking where the person got the video, as he had not posted it yet. This made many fans of the actor feel uneasy as they feared for the safety of the actor, and asking the individual to respond as well as delete the video however, there was never a response. The video has since been taken down and it appears nothing of that sort has occurred ever since. On August 23, 2024, Pavel took to Twitter to express his feelings following a situation he had at hand with some fans. In his post, he shared two screenshots of emails he received from two different individuals. If you may not be aware, Pavel has a clothing brand named Half Savage, and this is what the issue is related to. In one of the emails he received was a fan stating that their friend had recently ordered from Half Savage. However, they wanted to and tried to cancel their order and the cancellation was rejected. So the individual stated how they would like their friend's order to be cancelled. Although Half Savage does refunds, if one is unhappy with their purchase for reasons unrelated to quality, they may ask for a refund within nine working days of receiving your order. Nevertheless, it is up to Half Savage to decide whether to issue the refund. This is something the individual acknowledged however, they also stated that their friend's financial situation is not too great, and she neglected the exchange rate when she made her order, asking for Pavel to please cancel her order and refund her. In the second email, the individual expressed how Pavel's clothing designs were bad and ugly this time around, and how only a few of his fans will spend money to buy then, and no one else. They also mentioned that he shouldn't trust himself too much and should treat his fans better and not forget who he is. In his caption, Pavel shared that he's well aware of the fans' needs and doing everything in his power to solve everything. And he will refund them in full. However, there is no need to harm each other with words, and hopefully this will not be done to anyone else. Because even if the issue is resolved, it cannot resolve the feelings created from the words that were said. Additionally, he stated that they can say anything about him but not include his family in it. After this post, the actor received heartwarming messages from his fans apologizing for the emails and telling him not to acknowledge them. As you all may know, James and Nett split aways earlier this year as James wanted to focus on his career as an artist. James has been working towards his career as a musician since then and it's safe to say the feedback hasn't been positive. 
In the songs produced that he has sang in, James has received criticism from fans as they say that he is not a good singer. The criticism only increased on 15 September following the release of his cover of the song You. He received immense criticism from many fans, with some stating that he should have stayed as an actor. And some were comparing him to other singers whom they consider to be good musicians. The criticism flooded all social media, from X, Instagram and TikTok, and James became aware of it due to the extreme extent. The artist went on to address the situation, mentioning how scared he was to even open social media, due to him only seeing negative content surrounding him and his music career. He also mentioned that he feels down from seeing how everyone is making fun of him. Furthermore, stating that he's open to criticism, however some people use this to bully him which he's not happy about. In addition, James said that he has been bullied in the past and maybe that's why he hates the way he's being treated. Lastly, he thanked everyone for their support and apologized for not doing well enough and promised to do better in the future. In April 2024, we witness Barco departing from Beyond Cloud and following his departure from the company. Many fans speculated that he might be joining studio on Saturn or be another addition to GMMTV. As this was around the time GMMTV had taken in former studio Wabi Sabi artists. The speculations were put to rest on 28 May when Aplin shared a post welcoming the artist into their agency. This was, however, short-lived, as in early September it appeared as though Barcode had left the agency, after he removed Aplin from his social media accounts bio. This had so many fans questioning whether he was still with the agency or not. Shortly after, Aplin would make things clear on 12 September as they released an announcement, confirming the end of Barcode's collaboration with them going forward. Additionally stating that all the work he did during his time with the company will still be broadcast and promoted regardless. And for now, we can say he's working as a freelance artist and we'll need to wait and see what the future holds for the artist. On 30 August, Mandy released an announcement on their Instagram account stating that their artists Kong and Thomas will no longer partake in the series The Next Prince. This is due to the filming of The Next Prince and their series Your Sky Overlapping, making it difficult for them to partake in both. This is said to have been decided by both the company and the actors. Additionally, the new actors that will be taking over the roles of Calvin and Jay will be announced soon. On 16 September, Portia and Arm finally shared their wedding date, which was a beautiful and exciting moment for the couple. The couple revealed that the wedding will take place on January 10, 2025, a sentimental choice, as it marks the exact date Portia proposed to Arm in 2014. However, the Marriage Equality Act was officially published in the Royal Gazette on 25 September and the law will take effect and be fully implemented in 120 days, that being on January 22, 2025. Considering this information, it seems unlikely they can have their wedding before January 22, 2025. Therefore, it's uncertain whether they'll change their wedding date or explore alternative arrangements. It appears as though we're not yet done seeing GMTM taking in some renowned actors. As at the beginning of the month, on 1 September they welcomed Om Titawa as a new addition into the company. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.